Hello again, so this is question 5 for set 2 of questions for 2507 this summer. So in this question we have the we have for the following multi-stage amplifier with op amps find the output voltage so we need to find this voltage here right and also calculate the input impedance RI4 so is this one here so it says that it's a multi-stage amplifier using ideal amp ops up amps, sorry. So again, remember that for an ideal up amp, there is no current entering the up amp, so they are zero, right? And V plus is equals to V minus uh, for an ideal up amp. Okay. Now, why why is this a multi stage uh, amplifier? So if you look at the circuit, basically this part here is the first stage okay so this is stage one and then here we have the second stage okay, I'll include the load but this is the second stage okay so uh, we can solve first the, the, the first stage and then we basically find out this voltage here so I'll call the voltage at the output of the first stage as V out 1 so once we calculate this V out 1 basically we know the input voltage of the second stage along with this V4 here and then we can basically analyze the second stage okay now the first step for solving this problem is actually to calculate what's the V plus right what's the voltage at the non-inverting input of the first stage okay so we'll call step one okay step one find V plus okay now if you look at the circuit here V plus is right here right and basically we have two voltage sources connected in series with a resistance and then they connect together at the, at the non-inverting input. Now remember that the current flowing inside that, in, that non-inverting input is zero, right? We have this up here. So if we redraw just this part that's connected to the invert input, we have a voltage source here. So I'll just draw as a DC. So this is five milli. Sorry, this is four millivolts. Then we have a resistor here. We have another resistor here, another voltage source that goes to the ground. This voltage is two millivolts, and this resistor is eight k ohm, and this one here is two k ohm, right? And this here is exactly our V plus because remember that this current here that would be flowing inside the op amp is zero amps. So the only current that's flowing through this circuit is this current I here. Right? Now if we calculate this I, this current I, we are able to determine what's the voltage V plus using Ohm's law. Okay? So first, let's use KVL to find I. So if we go clockwise, we have minus 4 millivolts plus I times 2K ohm plus I times 8K ohm plus 2 millivolts. And that should be equals to zero, right? So this, if we isolate I here, this gives us a current that is 2 millivolts divided by 10 kilo ohms, which is 0 0.2 microamperes. Now if we use Ohm's law, so using Ohm's law, we know that basically this the voltage here at this node minus the voltage here at this node divided by this resistor here 
should be equals to the current I that's flowing here, right? So the voltage at this node here, we know it's 4 millivolts. Minus the voltage at this node here, it's V plus. Or the voltage at the non-inverting input. Divided by 2K, that's equals to our current I, which is 0 0.2 microamperes. Right? So if we isolate V plus here in this equation, we get a, a, um, a voltage that is equals to 3.6 millivolts. So now we find what's the voltage here in this circuit. And because we know from the ideal amp up that V minus is equals to V plus, this voltage that we just figured out at the non inverting input is the same voltage that we observe here at the inverting input. So now we can go to step two. So step two is just analyzing. So let me go to step two. So we just use KCL to find V naught one. Okay, so we apply KCL here exactly at this node, right? So we take first this voltage V minus minus this voltage 5 milliamps here divided by 1k plus this voltage V minus minus the output 1 voltage here divided by 9 by 9k that should be equal to 0 because there is no current flowing inside the amp op remember this assumption here so for step 2 we have V minus minus the first in the, the, the input voltage that we have connected there which is 5 millivolts divided by the 1k ohm plus v minus minus v naught 1 divided by 9k ohms and that should be equals to 0 right now we know that v minus is equals to v plus so v minus is equals to v plus which is 3.6 millivolts right so if we substitute this in, in the equation up here we get a V not one that is equals to nine millivolts. Okay, so we just substitute this one here, this one here, then isolate V one V not one and then you get nine millivolts. So now we know that at the end of the first stage, so if you go back here, this output V not one is nine millivolts. Okay, so now we are ready to analyze the second stage. Now for the second stage, we have a voltage V4 connected to the inverting, to the non-inverting input here. Okay, and remember that for an ideal op amp, there is no current flowing inside the op amp. So there is no voltage drop across the 6K. If there is no voltage drop across this 6K, basically the voltage at the non-inverting input is exactly the same as the V4 here, one millivolt that we have. So for the second stage, I'll put here as a step three. Find V plus for the second stage. So because there is no current, as I just explained. V plus in this case is just V4, which is one millivolt. Okay, so this is just uh, the 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 no inverting voltage. And again, we know that let's call it step four. That V minus is equals to V plus. It's equals to one millivolt. So we can again apply. KCL at V minus. Okay, so if you go back there, so exactly here at V minus, at this point here, we know that V minus minus V01 divided by 5k plus V minus minus V out divided by 20k is equals to zero, right? There is no current flowing inside here of the MPO op because of the ideal condition that we have here. So let's write that equation out. So we have V minus minus V naught one 
divided by 5k ohms plus v minus minus v out and that's the output voltage of the second stage or the entire circuit divided by 20k that should be equals to zero so if we plug in here v01 as 9 milliamps and v minus here as 1 milli sorry v01 as 9 millivolts and v not uh, v minus as 1 millivolt that we just figure out on step 3 we find out that basically v not is equals to 31 millivolts okay so that's the answer for the first part okay now the second part asks for so let's say here second part it asks for R in 4 okay so what's R in 4 what's the input resistance seen from the voltage uh, 4 so if we go back up here in the circuit you use you see that the input resistance here would be basically uh, the current here so we have I'll call it I4 flowing in this direction right and then we have the voltage Vs connected to this point here which is just V4 so in our case this R in 4 would be equals to V4 divided by I4 right so V4 we know that's 1 millivolt now what's the value of I4 let's go back to the circuit again e t that v4 is connected it is it goes through the 6k ohm right and then it connects to the no inverting input now from the ideal condition of the amp op we know that there's no current flowing inside the op amp or outside in this case right so there's no current flowing here at this branch if there's no current flowing here because it's a series path i4 is also zero right so for an ideal amp op this is zero amperes now if this is zero it basically means that our in four is approximately infinity so it has like an infinite input resistance in this case okay so that's basically what we have for these questions